Let's go, guys. We have another game here. This time, Louis empty playing as the Abbasid Dynasty against his opponent. Nishuo Sangwu Jo Sangwu Ba playing as the Order of the Dragon in the color teal. I think this means like, like if you say 3 p.m. or yeah, 3 p.m. Uh, it should be like 3 p.m. Okay, like, I, I don't really understand the, the meaning of this. Should be more. Pretty, pretty much like those, uh, you know, like like those Chinese restaurants that I find in my home country that they don't have any meaning because people don't know how to read Chinese. Then just put whatever name and and they just like uh, they 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 just do it that way. But let's take a look at this starting point and let's stop talking about the Chinese restaurants in my hometown and let's talk about this early meal. Looks like we're gonna see an early wheelbarrow coming from the Order of the Dragon here. And most likely we will see a very economic build. And I think we've we've seen some people like playing the Order of the Dragon in many different ways exploding their advantage. One of it is their economic advantage, they have fewer villagers, but they gather faster. So it makes sense. It makes sense to them to actually just go for that early wheelbarrow. We have also seen like another build where they put the meal next to the deer and get, you know, those survival techniques or wheelbarrow and just gather the deer and just with five villagers on, on foot, that's enough villagers to gather enough food to actually age up and the rest can just go to gold. You can have like five on gold if you want or four. So, Order of the Dragon is a civilization that you don't really follow the exact rule of like, oh, seven foot, three on gold, and nine on foot, and then I age up pretty much on two minutes and 15 seconds. Usually, that's not the case with them. Uh, so, it, it's nice to see this. It's nice to see people trying to figure out what's going on. What's, you know, what's the, uh, what's the best way to play Order of the Dragon? Because I think from what I've seen in the tournaments last time, it's it hasn't been a really let's just call it they they haven't picked it they they haven't picked order of the dragon and there should be a good reason for it and they may think it's too maybe it's too weak maybe it's just you know the villager difference doesn't really i don't know it's not that big of a an advantage like, your villagers are stronger, but you have less villagers, so look at that. Like, the 3 p.m. guy just gathering that ship. Just before it arrived to the to the center, it uh, arrived to the town center. Like, it definitely, definitely uh, save it from its fate. But it's gonna have the same fate just in another, just in another place. So... Akan Chapel is going to be the choice for our Order of the Dragon friend. Meanwhile, it's going to be the military wing for Louis. It will give him advantage to boot camp, which doesn't really make sense to get it at the beginning because you don't have much infantry. But later on, it makes a significant difference, especially with when if we go to later stages of the game, you see those Gulams have so much HP. Uh, they are so tanky. And obviously the composite boss is probably the best upgrade they have for military as the Abbasid. 33% attack speed. And looks like we're going for a second town center build here. So already gathering the stun before... You know, before actually aging up. So it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for him. At the same time, fresh food stuff being researched as soon as possible, you know? Uh, fresh Foods basically allows you to have villagers at a discount price, so they, they cost less. So the earlier you get that technology, the better it is for you, because that's something you're gonna spend the whole time, right? Whereas there are some technologies that you're not gonna use them at the moment, doesn't really matter if you research them or not, but the villagers always, always feels nice to have a discount for them. Looks like bot players playing a very economic game. 
horticulture going out for order of the dragon to get that extra gathering rate and a military that louis got for free from going military wing is already arrived here gonna be able to put some pressure into his opponent probably force him to create some units and there you go the archery range is the choice of our 3 p.m guy Like one villager will like build. You gotta be fast, guy. You gotta be build fast. But here, here he's here he's safe. This is in range of the town center. Never mind. This is not in range of the town center. Gonna swap swap turns with his mate. And uh, there you go. Archer coming soon. And looks like Louis will retreat for now. Like that's what he wants. That's that's what he was looking for. He was looking for an answer. It's like I'm going to delay whatever is it that you're doing. You need to create some units to deal with mine. And he are probably he already overproduced already with two gilded archers against these four. Probably equal, but one gilded archer should be more than enough if you just try to defend. Like you have the town center nearby you. That uh, looks like Louis already says jokes on you, mate. Like we're I'm going going back home. And you create those archers for nothing. That's those are the mind games, guys. Those those are the mind games that happen in this happen in this game. Talking about this game, uh, there there's been the uh, you know Marine Lord. Uh, the uh, I'm not gonna spoil any any results, but uh, he he joined an esports. Uh, he he he's a, obviously a pro professional AOE4 player, he has a really good trajectory on AOE4 scene, and he just joined esports, it's called uh, Chimpmates, Chimpmates, I, I, I believe it's, it's the name, it's a very, very big esports uh, company in France, uh, I believe it's uh, like big influencers start that company, um, they just call Marine Lord to be their face for Age of Empires 4 and they have been streaming and those guys have so much influence they, they get like thousands of views in the stream like we're talking about like 30,000 views in the last tournament live for just one guy streaming in French right obviously everything is in French it's for it's made for French audience but I feel so happy about this. I feel so happy because a lot of people will start knowing more about the game. I I, I feel like French people are carrying the community here. Uh, Alright, we see Order of the Dragon already with a bunch of archers and a couple of horsemen. It's like he's still producing units. He's gonna play a little bit longer feudal. I mean, it makes sense if you get all those upgrades. You don't really, you, you really want to use them your advantage. Will Warrow just coming for Louis. Uh, he's already on 2TC, so probably Order of the Dragon will try to prevent that secondary TC. Let's take a look at his vision. He doesn't know where the second town center is yet, most likely. We don't have information about that. But most likely he doesn't know because he's trying to scout with those horsemen and looks like we'll try to find the villagers. Villagers react on time. Not today, buddy. Not today. Pretty much reminds me of that quote on Game of Thrones where it's like, it's like, when do we die? Not today, not today. These villagers know that quote. It's like, it's not today, guys. Today is not our day. That's honey girl. So we see a very aggressive barracks coming for Order of the Dragon. I don't know if we're gonna see Man at Arms here, which I would love to see because. Abbasid doesn't really have an answer for Man at Arms. Or we're just gonna see just more spearmen against those horsemen. That could actually be it. it looks like he's he's falling back. He's falling back. He he he's not really he's scouting. He, he needs to check where the second town center is and says, Alright guys, I found it. Look at that, Mr. Donkey. Let's see, let's see. If this a uh, yeah, this this must be a donkey, right? This this must be a donkey. For sure. For sure it's a donkey. If you don't know about Mr. Donkey, it's a story I uh, I shared the other day. I'm gonna share the story in an, in another video, so stay tuned, subscribe if you don't wanna miss it. Uh, it's a 
It's a really scary story, so it's very funny, but it's actually very scary. It's uh, kind of like, like the things would only happen in third world countries. It looks like Order of the Dragon still massing units. Louis, not interested in going Castle Age, says that I will be too greedy for me. 2TC and Castle Age is just too much. I'm just gonna be, you know, massing units. And hopefully, hopefully we, we win this fight. Hopefully we win. Now, these are a lot of archers. Remember, gilded archers actually attack faster. We're thinking about, like, one second attack speed. Let's take a look at the archers from Louis. They do 1.62 seconds attack speed. So basically, these guys attack almost twice as fast. But they're technically 62% faster than Louis' archers. Are right, you going to take a look where when they fight here, because it looks like they're gonna fight soon. Let's see. Now, if you're wondering, why don't they fight? You're checking the units. Taking. Take a look at this. How many units? 30, 32. Okay, can I win this? Like, mm, I have like 17, couple of men at arms. I don't know. If the answer is, I don't know, it's very risky for you, because if you lost your army, you lost the game. Like, he's gonna, just gonna go for a counterattack. you're gonna go for reinforcement. And he's just gonna keep pushing and keep pushing. So you never lose your wars. You never lose your battles in Age of Empires. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard for you to come back. Now, I like the idea that putting Man at Arms to pressure Louis. I think it's a really smart move. Those Man at Arms are really tanky. And just having one of those here, you have to deal with them. Like, they do 14 damage. They're like chats here. Like, these horsemen do 9. And... Meanwhile, these guys do 14 damage, have 230 health, more than a horseman here. So, dude, these guys are super tanky, but I don't really like the idea of putting two rams here. Like, I feel like it, your target should be that town center, not this one. Like, your town center, the second town center should be your target because you're in a clock. Louis is already on 56 pillagers. And of course, Order of the Dragon Villagers train slower, but still, like, uh, you, you need to... It's like, there's no Spearman here coming from Louis. Like, you need to stop that second down center. Like, you, you have to. You have to. Archers, look at how fast they attack. It looks like, it looks like the archers will do a lot of DPS to the front line of Louis. Where a lot of archers coming from Louis. 42, actually. It's like... A very big amount. It looks like the front line for Louis it's over. And now Order of the Dragon sending more reinforcements here, more man at arms. Problem with Order of the of the Dragon is like these units are more costly. So if they target fire one unit, like most likely. All these archers are gonna take them down, but the man arms are already here, so they need to take them down first. And they, look at how tanky they are. Louis back to 28 archers, sending the villagers. I don't know why they're excited. I wanna grab some food, but actually it's not. It looks like Louis, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, nothing happened here. It's okay. And that wasn't a good battle for Order of the Dragon. I mean, technically, what did you do? You take down one outpost, but still one outpost here, and the enemy town center is still alive. So I don't feel this was really worth it for our Order of the Dragon friend. It's going for that deer in the back. Still plenty of food in the map. Starting to his farm transition here. Always nice to have early farms as you know, the Order of Dragon of or Holy Roman Empire just because the, you know, the inspiration, like plus 15% gather speed. I believe it's like 40% for Order of the Dragon, but it will be, like if you think about it, these villagers already have like extra, extra gathering rate. I, I think they, they, they collect faster. Let me take a look at the description. Yeah, 28% quicker. So it makes sense. It makes sense the, the Akan Chapel actually just buff a little bit. Otherwise, it will be too broken. 
horsemen going for a raid here. At the same time, a couple of horsemen here from Louis. Looks like one big guy will deal with this. A couple of rams trying to take down another tower. I don't think this is a fight you should take. But Louis having really mass up units. Like, if he attacks again, it's gonna be harder for Louis to defend. Before he had, you know, the military advantage. But now he's focusing more or on aging up. Now he has the resources. It's gonna be the cultural wing to get all those upgrades really cheap. You're gonna get preservation of knowledge. Uh, if you don't know what it is, let me tell you here in the tooltip. Basically, all you know, all the te technology costs twenty percent, and if you're gonna go imperial, also costs less. So that that's a pretty cool thing. Look at all those archers trying to take down one horseman. How many how, how many hours? How many? arrows you need to take down one horseman he says yes sir archer numbers not looking good for order of the dragon at the moment looks like this outpost may potentially go down i still have another outpost here you need to take care of it taking down villagers She's really good. Already eight villagers dead in the game. She's uh, very good for the Order of the Dragon. So like the Alpha's went down. More villagers will go down here. It's like Louis knows like you know these guys are dead. Not even try to move them. Try to move the villagers here. More villagers are dead, and somehow Order of the Dragon managed to pull on that push but his opponent is about to age up in 20 seconds and in about a minute he's gonna have all his units upgraded he's gonna have access to gulams and he's just gonna be having a good time he's already have plenty of gold in the bank so he's gonna be having all those upgrades and nice units very soon also no spearman coming from order of the dragon so potentially may we may see a knight there you go a couple of knights here from louis Definitely what the doctor recommended here. Let's burn some farms here. Cause some chaos. Traumatize the villagers. Well, this long distance wonders. Trying to trying to gather some, some berries here. Boar has been taken here in the west. Now the rams alive and kicking. At the same time, Regnix Cathedral is being built with 16 villagers. Gotta get it fast. Gonna get it as soon as possible. Take a look at the income per minute. I should have put the income per minute way early on. Knights are still massing here. You don't really want to go with one knight, otherwise it's gonna get sniped. You're gonna ha have at least a bunch of them so you can, you know, just push. Better and C4 archers coming. Also, Louis getting those composite bows, plus two range attack, acid distillation. Sorry, no, a specialized pick. Acid distillation is the second one. Putting a tower here just to make sure I have enough gold. Elite, sorry, not not elite. Better anti four mana arms coming. I change a lot. Let's take a look at this health. Two hundred thirty, two hundred. 90 so it's a uh, sweet sweet the archers are also very very good horseman still going for raids looks like we are not gonna see more horsemen from louis probably gonna see a big gilded knight but these guys are too expensive look at that that hole here i love when holes like this happen A lot of wood being gathered here by Louis. It's like he needs to go that farm transition. Not much food left on the map. Just have this. And talking about food. You need to grab those relics. Especially as the Regnis Cathedral. You really need those, those relics as soon as possible. And you do have some kind of map control. I mean, you do have the army. Uh, it should be very easy for you to get uh, the majority of relics for yourself. Mangonels being built for Louis, also crossbow mass starting to build. 
And Magnum will work perfectly against Order of the Dragon composition. It's, there are just so many archers here, so a Magnum is just the best thing you can do. One relic coming for Louis as well. A couple of knights will go for a raid here. Looks like this board got the knight. See 1000 foot here, so you're gonna gonna make sure these villagers gather gather it. Looks like this priest not gonna find the relic. Louis is gonna find it. Unfortunate for this priest. It's gonna it's gonna go down. And looks like this one also may potentially go down. How many arrows you need to take down that that knight? Meanwhile, horseman still trying to raid, and Mangonel actually is gonna do a lot of damage to those archers. Mangonel very safe. Archers trying to put the body. It's like no matter what, do not leave. Man at arms, come on, guys, focus on the Mangonel. There you go. Get yeah, one guy focusing on the magnet. Looks like he's not gonna be able to do it. He needs, hey buddy, mind if you give me a hand. There you go. Magnet goes down, and looks like the archer numbers for Order of the Dragon still alive and kicking. Remember, these guys, they don't have the the dragon letter upgrade. At least that's 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 the name I remember. I, I think it's called like that. They they don't have the dragon letter. A raid happening here. See, a scale armor. There you go. A scale armor. And no wonder why it reminds me of the dragon. So a scale armor. Range armor plus 3. It looks like our 3 p.m. friend needs to go back from attack from another point because that keep is already here. It's gonna be securing that wood. That wood's gonna be very important for Louis. Make that farm transition. You know, more knights coming for Louis. Knights and crossbow is gonna be his choice. This is another village. But plenty of villagers for the Abbas dynasty. Especially with fresh foods. They're kind of kind of cheap. They're kind of cheap. Looks like the berries will get the knight and also the relic, very far away from Order of the Dragon Base, is gonna get picked here. As a chance of getting this one. Looks like he's gonna get it. Louis put in another keep here just to make sure he doesn't die. When you don't have army, you have to put keeps in your base. It will just give you some extra time to to breed, you know, to breed. Like now with this keep, you're gonna enter the base. You you need to enter from this this base, and you know you need to move your army. But looks like this guy's just committed. Like let me just attack from this angle. Let's see. I always try to look different angles to attack. I I find that's the best way. Like, if one angle is hard to push, probably another one is not. Like, you're gonna put defenses all over the place, right? Now, this mass of crossbows will work just fine. Magonel will deal with the archers. Crossbows will deal with the man at arms. It looks like he will need to retreat for now. He's getting the boro here. Priest gonna go down. And looks like Order of the Dragon will get four relics apparently. So not 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 a bad number. Not a bad number at all. Lankenek are going to start joining the party. Look at that those those guys like. 21 damage, zero armor, 100% faith. That's what Langnet is. Big wall coming for Louis here. Trying to force the battle into that choke point he created. Have a couple of keeps here, so makes sense to put a big wall here so that the opponent doesn't flank him. It looks like the Langnet will arrive on time. The others will try to finish the wall, but those units actually that they're actually going there. Oh my god. Actually, there's a big wall coming here. 
Look at about choke points. There is no choke point now if this wall gets completed. Gulams are starting to join the party. 16 of them. 22 crossbows. Not about army at all. Not about army for Louis. Now the question is who's gonna get this big gold bane? And it looks like both of them know that this gold is really important. Like you have a small one here in the back, but this one, this big and this big are gonna be key to survive later stages of the game. It's like the villagers here on the board are gonna get mur murder here. And remember, Order of the Dragon don't have the ability to produce more villagers at the moment. They are not in Imperial Age where they have all of Swabia, so every villager kill is, is a big difference. Let's take a look at the income. Like, Louis have 1.8 food, whereas the Order of the Dragon have 1.2k. And I suspect it's gonna go lower because those villagers on the board, it's, they're, they're already down. Now look at those chats, like... You never know, like, you never know who's gonna win here. With those Lankanet. Gotta be careful with that Lankanet. Big shots here. Big shots for the Lankanet. Like, Louis is retreating to the Mangonel. Mangonel will do a big shot here. Never mind. It's just gonna get. They're just gonna hack the Mangonel. It's all about hacking. And slug looks like it's gonna be the crossbows. Finds a decent shot. Magonel only targets one unit. You will remember Order of the Dragon fighting in his territory. He has the outpost here with emplacement, so it's gonna be a harder fight for Louis. But these are enough crossbows to deal with those gilded man at arms. So he should have a, a lot of uh, he should be fine. Like, the front line is already there. Mangonel will deal with the back line. And the big boy arrive. Like, you need Spearman to deal with this. Spearman are going up for Louis. Gonna be better than see coming soon. Come on, guys. Change. There you go. Much, much more decent. Much more decent warrior to fight against this big boy. And this outpost pretty much is denying Louis' big gold vein here. I really need to think about going into the Imperial Age because your opponent is it's going for the trade wing. And definitely a good choice if you're, if you're getting denied the gold. May think about trading. It has a beautiful spot to trade here. It's gonna be a little bit exposed, but. It's not, it's not the worst. Outpost is gonna go down. Like the, finally the Gilded Knight went down. Horseman, not really sure what to do. Lankenek. Gonna be trying to torch this palace as well. Remember these guys, no armor. So, you really need them to do something. The army from Louis already arrived here. I will use the Langenek to just raid the villagers. Like, these guys are... One of the best raiding units. Can kill 20 villagers in one second. Look at that. Blah. Splash. Big keep coming here for our teal friend. Looks like it's gonna get denied here. Already attack the keep, so Springles out there for Order of the Dragon. So gonna be able to take down those mangonels. Just gonna be careful not to lose them. It looks like this keep will go out for our 3 p.m. friend. Now let's see what upgrades Louis goes. Elite 
elite upgrades also grand bazaar 25 percent gold value as a secondary resource another keep coming here Louis doing a really good job at keeping those mangonels alive it has been really paying off it's like the keep will go up no cutting placement so far he's already mining the gold here Last three range armor coming for Louis. Also, Order of the Dragon is gonna go for Palace of Swabia. Definitely the right choice when you are behind more than 60 villagers. You need the Palace of Swabia here. At this point, well, it, it, it will start getting interesting for Order of the Dragon because their economy will be very good. Very good. They will have more much more villagers meaning they will have much more army than before it's like a right happening here nice to take it down walls coming in the east side of the map Rams. i don't know what they're doing there but And Palazzo Swabia is out. It's gonna print villagers every eight seconds. Come on, guys! I I, I know I know you can create villagers. Come on! Or right, you you can put more than one in the queue. I know you can do it. I mean that's the reason you go to this landmark. Come on! Come on, dude! Come on! Oh my god! You hate to see a Palazzo Swabia idle. Oh my god! No! Not like this! Not like this, buddy! There you go, a couple of villagers here. I will just kill like 20 and forget about it. And more units coming here. Looks like this keep may go down. A couple of bombards already there. One bombard and one pulvering. And this keep is key for our 3 p.m. friend. He cannot let it go down. Otherwise. He, lo he lose access to this goal. He only have a small goal in the back. He really cannot, you know, sustain the economy if you if you lose if you lose those resources. So this keep is really important for him. A couple of mangonels just doing God's work here. Looks like the the relic <laughs> was gonna put here, but the monk gets a snipe and throws the relic. And Order of the Dragon taps out. He knows after the keep goes down, he won't have the resources. We'll play by these two guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this match. I will see you in the next one.